webinar, section 1.6, example 5. Um, it's a word problem. Find the measures of each angle. So we're trying to find the measures of two angles. What about those two angles? Two angles form a linear pair. Uh, the measure of one angle is eight times the measure of the other angle. Find the measures of each angle. So I have two angles to make a linear pair. One is a lot bigger than the other, eight times as big. Uh, no way I'm going to be able to do this without drawing a picture. So, we'll go like this. Alright, here's my linear pair. I'm going to divvy it up so that, uh, oh, that doesn't look right, see? Because these angles look, oh, it's a little bit small, it's a little bit bigger. But in our story problem here, that, uh, what you call, it's supposed to be way bigger. So let's get rid of that. Try it again. All right, here's my straight line. I'll do it like that, right? So here's angle one, and here's angle two. So what do we know about angle one and angle two? We know, first of all, that angle two is eight times bigger than angle one. So let's write that down. We know that measure of angle two equals eight times measure of angle one and what else we know oh we also know that they're a linear pair which means that measure of angle two plus measure of angle one equals 180 so I'm gonna kind of move myself up here so that's a good place to start we know 180 equals measure of angle two Plus measure of angle one, but remember, uh, measure of angle two is eight times the measure of angle one. So we could do a substitution here. Let's get rid of measure of angle two. So we'll say that 180 equals eight times measure of angle one. So see, I'm just going to replace, right? Plus measure of angle one. So now I have eight times the measure of angle one and one times the measure of angle one. Eight of them, one of them, all together. We should have nine of them. So, 180 equals nine times the measure of angle one. Now we just have to divide by nine on both sides. Let's see here. Um, Measure of angle one, uh, that'd be 20 degrees. All right. And just as a double check, measure of angle two equals eight times measure of angle one. We'll do our substitution. Measure of angle two eight times 20. And measure of angle two equals 160 so we found the second angle and last little double check here we've got uh 160 plus 20 equals 180 so yes the two angle measures we came up with add up to 180 degrees so the supplementary which a linear pair should be so Yay, we did a good job.